In this video, we'll convert from moles of C12H22O11 to grams. So we're converting from moles of sucrose, this is table sugar, to grams. In this 0.47 number, that's just something I made up for the problem. So we have our 0.47 moles of C12H22O11. And when we're converting from moles to grams, we start with moles, we want to end up with grams, we multiply by the molar mass. And to find the molar mass for sucrose here, we add up the masses of all the atoms. That gives us 342.34 grams per moles. We go from moles to grams, again we multiply. So when we do that, the moles, we have moles on top and the bottom. That leaves us with grams and that's what we're looking for here. So we end up with 160.90 grams of sucrose. If we were given grams, we could just do the reverse operation to get moles. So we could go from grams, we would then divide by the molar mass, and then that would give us moles. So to recap, we took our moles, we multiplied by the molar mass, that gave us grams. We were also careful to make sure that our units canceled out to give us the one we were looking for. This is Dr. V converting moles of C12H22O11 sucrose to grams. Thanks for watching.